Good day, Castle Crawlers. I'm unsilent and we're on the air with more Final Fantasy VI. It's episode number 38 of Final Fantasy VI. Thanks for tuning in. Last time out, last time out, we entered the cave to the ancient castle via, you know, getting caught in the rocks while traveling in Figaro Castle. I guess we gotta go back up the, the stairs this way. To the ancient castle. Well, I mean, there was a lot of... I mean, in fairness, in fairness, to be fair. There's a lot of shit in here we didn't look at either. I mean, there's like, whole areas to explore over here. And look, chests as well. There's an X potion. As you know, the X is for extreme. And then you got these bastards. They're uh, annuals-ish. They take damage from the air, I believe. Hence why they have Aqua Breath. But we've already got an Aqua Breath on... Uh, on Strago, so I don't think... I'm pretty sure that was like the first blue magic he come with. So... But Strago learned death. I mean, that's technically not what you're getting for. It's coming from over here with Kato Blepis. So, yeah. And then we gotta find him already. Something new to put on him. Sure. I'm not scared. And we got the S1, which is a Magicite Shard, which allows us to summon a random uh, summon creature, an Esper. Oh. Oh no, that's the way back. Okay, okay. Fine. We're good. No, we're not. All right, I guess back down the stairs. And around. And back to the ancient castle. Sadly, we can't play Moon over the castle. That's the wrong franchise. What is this place? Uh-oh. Flashback. I was gonna say flashback mood lighting. Well, that's not good. It's an Esper attack. Let loose our Espers. The Ward of Magi. Lord Odin. Is the only Esper left to us. Ooh, we're gonna get another Esper score. Has he recovered from his injuries? Odin's a fun one because if it's, uh. Does it matter? We have no other choice. We must leave this final battle in Odin's hands. I guess bringing along, uh. Bringing along Terra was, uh, fortuitous. Well, there's Odin. And he's had it Zukin. If it works like in other games, yep, is an insta kill. No, but he's better to match in the form of Ghost. No, he's trying to do the, uh, Luke Skywalker brush off his shoulder. Impressive, I never thought you would be able to turn me to stone. Uh-oh. So he's probably still stuck there and pissed off. And there's a legend that tells that of an ancient battle between the Esper Odin and a powerful Magus. It took place in the Great Hall of a Castle. Do we have to go find the Great Hall? Still battles, though. Anything different? No. I was really hoping that they would kind of throw some more different stuff at us, but eh, it is what it is. 
not a lot over there either. Unless there's some like hidden items or some such, but not quite a hidden item, but a hidden door. You taint the Punisher. Oh, it draws MP from its wielder to deal criticals. Yes, we we've dealt with the sword equivalent of that, and that can get out of hand quite quickly. We did learn a blue magic in that exchange, level 5 death. That is a uh, classic Final Fantasy blue magic. I uh, used that one to great effect in Final Fantasy 9, if you recall there. What's one of the uh, one of the little tricks to uh, leveling up there? Is getting Quinn a level 5 death and then basically bring her along with whoever the hell, I forget who else. Um... Well, obviously Zidane and whoever the hell else. Um, and then there's a couple places where you've got these level 40 big dragon types, right? So you just drop a level 5 death on them and they, they die instantly and you get all this XP for whoever the hell's hanging around, which is how I did the grinding. Uh-oh, monster in a box! Boss monster in a box! It's a samurai soul. Let's get the sketch out fast. No, we don't want a runic. Oh, just cut. Lame. But if it's samurai soul, it means it's undead, which means we're gonna holy it. Shockwave. Let's see if we can't get that shockwave going again. I mean, did decent damage. Don't get me wrong. See if we can't get to use a shockwave. No. Nope. Well, flame scroll. It didn't do much. Ah, dang. One time. Let me try it again. Assassin blade. Ah, I got it. Apparently, we assassinated it. We just missed it. We assassinated it with its own assassin blade. 5 AP. Realm learned sleep. You obtained a master scroll and 30,000 gil for our trouble. Master scroll. Oh, proof of a warrior's weapon mastery allows the bear to attack four times per turn. Well, shit, find your... Uh... Find your biggest physical attacker and throw it on them, you know? Just a curiosity, who's doing best for magic? 63, 47, 67, yeah, I thought it was Realm. Mm, yeah, do that. And then everyone's basically there. You're close enough, Celis. So, oh, battle. Onwards, I guess through this doorwards. No, I guess we keep going. Odin's gotta be here somewhere, right? Uh, like there. Oh, no, it's a random battle. Never mind. Oh, okay, you're new. So we've got uh, Lunatus and Figaro Lizards. I don't trust the boxes. That was interesting, it switched off. Electrode. Actually, what I should do is have Realm sketch the last ones, what I should do. Meteor. Which I do not believe is going to be a uh, blue magic there. Nice lore move. Give it one more shot here and see what happens. An electrode. Which, you know, it's, it's different enough that it could be. Hypothetically, we'll see. As it scrolls across the top. There's your XP, there's your AP, there's your gill, and no. I guess we can't. Oh, yes, you can. 
A blizzard orb. And a gold hairpin. Blizzard orb. Equip on a yeti and see what happens. Well, we got more shit to equip on uh, Umaro. And, ah. Nice. That would be quite helpful. Having that on anyone, really. Uh, actually. Yeah, that's the haste sandals, right? That's why she's so much faster than everyone else. Oh, yeah, put the gold hairpin on her, see what happens. Actually, let's see if it works from now. Indeed it does. It rounds to the next whole number, mind. Which is unfortunate, but... Oh, actually, the only one that needs it is... Salas, and for 6 MP, everyone's topped up again. Might need it if we're going to do a boss fight here. Actually, do you want to cut across... Oh, no, we're not. We can cut across here. Well, I guess not. There's this weird room to the side. Well, there's a random battle first. Through the door! Oh, there's a hole. Oh. Ah, okay, no, wait, that's where we were before. It's just there's another side to the room. I don't know if it's letting us go this way, so I wonder if that opens up after we get Odin? Alright, I guess now's time to go chat with Odin. Maybe he'll just be nice and let us... Uh, just... Join our cause. Odin crumbles, leaving behind a shard of magicite. Or he'll just turn into magicite. There he is. Speed plus one. He has but one attack, which is Meteor. G uh, gained at a rate of one... Uh, one uh, per... Uh, one AP per, I guess, yeah, no... No accelerate acceleration or nothing. Well, I guess that was a trip. Okay, well, that was the thing that happened. We're not gonna have a boss fight or nothing? Well, we got these guys that we can deal with. A Coco, a Samurai, and a Suriander. Haven't we dealt with this type before? Well, who wants to try an Odin? Oh, are we going to imp someone here? Ah, oh, we missed imping. I picked someone, so let's see what Odin does. Oh, seriously? I swear to God, that's all he does is miss. Even in the other games, all he does is freaking miss. Oh, we're gonna... Can't hit anything here. Oh, is she gonna imp herself? No. Two magic AP. Sadly. No blue magics learned there. There gonna be anything that happens besides shit like that? Okay, well, guess this was a thing we can save here. And head more upwards. I mean, man. Yeah. And then it was off to the right here. We've explored that before. See if we can't find our way back. It doesn't seem so intimidating when you do it this way. Ah, oh, dang it. 
Never as simple as it looks. Okay, I guess we gotta go down this way and then... Let's go down this way, right? And then... Hustle this way and then... No, and then up the stairs, I guess. And back across into a random battle. There we go. This is a lot longer for me than it was for you guys, so. I discovered an ancient text in the librarium. And well, we can't go read it now. This we can tell you set course. Fire it up and keep going. Now, that's all well and good that we're here, but there's one small problem. Is that, um... Uh, well, okay, back in. Hi, how's it going? Do you remember where the librarium is? Right here. To think that a thousand-year-old city would be lying buried beneath the sands of this very desert. I had a short passage about the city in an ancient text, but I haven't been able to make much sense of it. When the queen stands, take five steps. I actually have no idea that... Some, I don't know what the queen is, though, about, you know, an ancient city, you know? I wasn't trying to do that. Grab a rest. And they obviously unlock something new where the queen stands take, or when the queen stands takes five steps. And that's just the way out. I was going to say, I think I broke it, but no, I didn't. Well, if we want to get back to our airship, we kind of got to take the inverse trip. Now, do I get a chance to stop along the way again, or... Yeah, I do. I'm not quite sure what, where that, no, I know where the, the thing applies, I just don't know when the thing applies. Alright. And a random battle. Now where did I park? There we go. We can put her about. There's a thing you can land and go see, like, what's this village here that I've completely forgotten what it is? It's South Figaro! A little bit separated from regular Figaro. Saw a huge shallow pass by beneath water. Interesting. Yeah, 
yeah, yeah. I won't mention that my bosses, or I guess their bosses now, are traveling with me. You guys are working on repairs? So we just left that behind. He's banging his head off of that. I don't see him barfing the water supply. Duncan's alive, I heard it from his wife. Well, where's Duncan's wife? So that's the thing we gotta do, is find... Oh, Duncan's house? Well, that was convenient. Off training to the north of Narshi. Okay, I guess we gotta do that. Should we just go back out and do that before I forget? Yeah, maybe. Uh, so what do we got? Out of the way. So we got two things we got to do. We got to find the shadow in the shallow sea. And... We've got to find Duncan training. Now you're out sailing. You couldn't have been too far from... Here. Yeah? Logically, anyway. Saw Shadow. Unless he meant my friend Shadow, which is entirely possible. Eh, wait, 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 yeah. I don't think it. it logically, it would not be too far. From South Figaro, would it? I mean, just think about logically, that is. Hmm. Duncan's train north of Narshi. Nope. Just here. I don't see anything. That's the problem, right? The north is up here, but there's nothing here. Okay, look, if we're gonna... Get everyone not in the party. And then it's a matter of who do you want to... Oh look, Amaro's made new friends. So if we ever get a chance, we can band them all together, right? Speaking of silent types, here's Shadow. How's that for a party? Mog, Umaro, Gogo, and Shadow. I mean, it'd be a ship party because it's all physical attacks, but it would be interesting. So. question becomes, who do we want to bring along? Kind of run these guys ahead of the Figaro twins, haven't we? Now figure, if we're going to go see, um... He's not done too badly for himself, has he? Put Valgarmanda on you, whatever. I say, who's left? Phoenix? Alright, do it. Whatever. 
Uh, yeah, what was I saying? Um, yeah, if we're just kind of getting the band back together. Oh, yeah, we got to equip you guys, too. Now do Tiger Fang. Ancient Shield from Foreign Land. Salt Black Hood, Red Cap. Oh no, we could give him a Tiger Mask. Like the wrestler. Give you the Royal Crown. Give him the partisan for now. Give him that the hell. No, oh, wrong way. This way. Power sash. That seems like a throw the red jacket on him. And then we get to see. Which one of these? Oh yeah, you do the black belt. And you do the gigas gloves. And the hyper wrist. Just boost. All the power in the world. Oh, yeah, maybe we want you to use... Yeah, use the Master Scroll, just for fun. Uh, north. I mean, I guess this is slightly to the west, isn't it? Well, let's see how all this... Uh, we got toads. Leapfrogs, sorry. Oh, that's how it works. No, we can't attack because there's nobody to target. What a solid thud of a landing. Three, four, got him. And this is directly north. Well, that's not it either. They're crawlers, not Figaro lizards. Traveler. Probably would have been better if... I think, can't remember if we've uh, learned all these to uh, struggle. And all sorts of stuff happened that battle. Of course, the problem is, is I think we're running out of things that we can... Did I blow by something there? Nope. Just some empty spots random there. I mean, Cells ain't using it right now, so what the hell, right? So check this north of Narshi. I gotta be here somewhere. There's like gotta be something we stumble across.
Now, it could be one on those weird islands as well. Oh, there's the mountains here that... Oh! Well... Oh, there's Duncan's cabin. Well, there we go! Success! Go us! Master Duncan! Wahaha! Why the surprised face? Did you think I died or something? Master Duncan, I'm so glad you're safe. Oh dear! Saving you aren't crying, are you? Wahaha! Did you think a little thing like the end of the world was gonna do me in? The world tried to swallow me up once or twice. But I just pried its jaws open and climbed back out. Saving, it's time for me to teach you my ultimate technique. Use this to knock some sense into Kefka. All right, ultimate technique time. Get ready. It's like I'm watching a button mashing on Street Fighter, you know? Should it come with a photosensitivity warning or something? I call it the Phantom Rush. Now go on, hit Kefka with every blitz I taught you. Our tough guy poses. Everyone does the tough guy pose. So we go and say hi. Hey, he's not dead. He's just dying. And sleep in the bed. There's Everyone's got a home bar. Smartly, of course. So let's take a look at this, uh... Phantom Rush, my goodness, deals massive damage to a single enemy, which would be handy. Good news, I found my, uh, notepad. The one with all the, uh... Um, Blitzes on it, right? So that's... Okay, it's Phantom Rush and it's just around the world. Phantom Rush... So it's a physical single, right? Well, you know what? We'll find out in a second, so it's... So it's nine commands. We'll see what it looks like. How about that? You want to see what it looks like? No time like the present to give it a shot, right? Give it a second. All right. So it's that, 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 that. Go. Let's see what Phantom Rush looks like. Okay, that's pretty okay. Sorry, I was busy scribbling. I was just writing down, I was thinking, how do I describe Phantom Rush on a notepad? I just called it Ultimate Single. 
I mean, I guess technically there isn't an ultimate that goes to multiple, so I guess you know, it works, right? I've been here a lot longer than it says on the tin. We can just hop back aboard the airship. We can go to Narshi, get a free heal. Just like that. Well, not before this. There we go, and everyone's healed up. That ghost impeding my path to the exit there. Talk about a fire hazard. I'm assuming we're not going to be able to find the, uh... Thing sailing, are we? Well, not the thing sailing, but you know what the thing the found, guy found while he was sailing. Almost the belt again. I can't remember where we were looking at either. <laughs> Is it here? Ish. Maybe. Shows how good I am at this. There's kind of part of me that wonders if, if we just kind of... If we go up, do you think you'd see it better? Maybe what you need is height. Oh, you can see some shadows. Unless, when he was sailing, the shadows he saw in the sea was, was me. Oh, we can kind of land from a long way down. Unless it wasn't something underwater, it's something over the water. I'm so busy looking down. And you're always looking down. Don't get me wrong. You look down, because, well, that's where all the action is, right? But what if you're supposed to look up? Not that there's much you can see on the horizon looking up, either. Hmm. Intriguing, is it not? Perplexing, ponderous, and all that. I know, I'm coming back here. I don't know if I'm going to do another run of this or not. We're kind of getting to the point where it's kind of like... Could I do it? I mean, maybe. The team's getting a lot better, right? It's looking a lot stronger. Maybe I'll grind a bit between episodes, try and level everyone up a little bit more, and to get to everyone to level 50-ish. And use that for a run against the uh, one last attempt at the tower. And then failing that, we can always just... Now, we, we still got Kefka's tower to go, which would require a lot of grinding everyone else as well. So I guess I gotta get on this, don't I? Mm, bit, a bit. I don't do a lot of grind... I have done some grinding between episodes, but it's just been the, it's just been the tower crew. It's been the cultist tower crew. It's not been the rest of them. So you look at, you know... Your setzers and your gals and so on and so forth, and it's like, eh, you, we need to start thinking about what the hell we got for a team. Teams, because there, there's got to be more than one team going into uh, Kefka's Tower, so we kind of got to be ready for that, right? But uh, we'll, we'll worry about that starting next time on Final Fantasy VI. But until we see you for that, I'm on Silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. Share on social media. Follow on social media. The social media handle is on Silent on Air. And that is for Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr. And don't forget, there's plenty more Final Fantasy VI and IX in the playlists. They're on the screen in the description down below. And more videos any time on the channel page. And until the next time, I'm on Silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like, share, subscribe, and we will see you next year.